This video is on two new components from Marantz, the Model 30 integrated amp and an SACD30N network player. If you follow the history of hi-fi over the decades, you probably know that Saul Marantz is a legend. The audio gear he designed in the 50s and 60s are now worth far more than their original price and are coveted by audiophiles all over the world. As a matter of fact, my very first integrated amp was a Marantz 1060 I bought back in 1972. As time passed, the engineers of Marantz in Japan carried on the tradition of having a great deal of care for pure sound. They take it to such an extreme that they train a couple of listeners to be experts in identifying that pure Marantz signature sound they are after. These engineers then have a full-time job of simply listening to new designs and prototypes to make sure they meet the standards. They even have a name. They're called Marantz Sound Masters. Over the years, Marantz has introduced special models to pay homage to their great history of sound. Recently, they introduced a new reference integrated amp and SACD player that are made in Japan, fine-tuned by the Marantz Sound Master, and sell for $8,000 and $7,000 each. If you look back in the history of the timeline of Marantz models, their very first integrated amp was introduced in 1970 and was called the Model 30. We love the fact that the two new Marantz pieces celebrating the 50-year anniversary of this classic component bear its same model designation. The early styling of those first Marantz amps was quite different from anything else out there, and Marantz is doing the same thing with these two new products. Unlike most of their previous products designed to pay tribute to their classic heritage, these are not in the stratosphere price-wise, making them available to a much wider range of music lovers. Let's take a look at the design philosophy behind this new series, then we'll get into the two models to explain their features. Marantz wanted these two new components to embody modern musical luxury while maintaining all of the classic Marantz characteristics. The Model 30 and SACD30N are certainly striking to the eye with their smaller faceplate floating on top of a larger textured box that almost looks like carbon fiber. This is certainly a modern look, but they kept the Marantz logo large and on top, along with the classic symmetry of all their early Marantz amplifiers were known for, where each side of the unit had an identical layout of switches and knobs. We also love the small portal on the integrated amp that harkens back to their 1960 Model 9 tube power amp. In fact, it almost looks identical. We'll get into a lot of the technology that makes these two units extremely musical as we go over each one, but these units were tuned by the Marantz Soundmaster to have that rich, warm, classic Marantz sound. Should you be lucky enough to own one of these new models, you'll surely have that feeling of luxury as you operate it. For us, the look just makes us want to reach out and touch the unit. It looks like an incredibly well-made musical instrument does. Another thing that really impressed us is the fact that these two units are made in their Shirakawa Audio Works plant in Japan, with all final assembly being done by hand. These could become heirlooms you want to pass down to the next generation, just like those early Marantz pieces did. If you know much about audio, you probably realize an integrated amplifier is a combination of a stereo preamp and stereo power amp all rolled into one box, where they usually share a common power supply. The Model 30 is technically an integrated amplifier as well, but the way Marantz put the unit together inside the box, you could basically pull it apart and create two separate components from the pieces. Yes, there's actually a totally separate power supply for the preamp, which sits in the middle, and another for the power amp section. The entire internal layout was designed to allow the unit to have the performance benefits of separate components. The critical preamp board is on the far right side with the separate phono preamp board underneath it. A large toroidal power transformer in the center of the unit is totally dedicated to the preamp boards. You'll find the power supply for the amplifier on the far left with the actual amp section directly connected to the speaker terminals in the center rear. As audio geeks we are, we love the look of the insides of this new integrated amp, which totally strove for the shortest signal pass possible in each section. If you know audio, you're also probably aware that the ideal power amp would double its power every time the load was cut in half. Of course, nothing can do that all the way down to one ohm, but the Model 30, with its fully discrete amp section, actually doubles its power from 100 watts per channel to 200 watts per channel when you go from 8 ohms to 4 ohms. That is impressive. 
Input-wise, the Model 30 is all about analog. There are no digital circuits inside to keep things simple and pure. Morant spent a lot of time fine-tuning the Phono preamp that even got its own separate circuit board. This is not an afterthought add-on Phono preamp, but a very serious one with the option of for either a moving magnet or moving coil cartridge with lots of settings you can adjust to fine-tune it to your cartridge. The Phono input and one input labeled CD get some very serious chassis mount brass machine gold-plated connectors. The four remaining inputs are labeled tuner, line one, line two, and recorder. You may not be aware, but reel-to-reel -reel and cassette decks are making a nostalgic comeback. And we love the fact Marantz added a recorder out that sends the selected input out to a tape recorder. There's also a preamp out and a power amp in. In the center of the rear panel, you'll see the signature Marantz copper speaker connections, which are quite solid. We would have liked to have seen two pairs to make bi-wiring easier. Should you wish to fine tune your sound a bit, Marantz kept their classic bass treble and balance controls that have been a hallmark on their gear for decades. For headphone use, there's a dedicated high quality headphone amp with circuitry to shut down the power amp section when you plug in headphones. That's pretty cool. So what about digital sources and or a CD player and streamer? Well, that's where the Model 30N comes in. This is one super cool piece of gear with everything you need for both the old and new digital world. As a matter of fact, if you only cared about digital, it can even act as a full function preamp, so all you need is a power amp for a complete digital system. Marantz use their own CD-SACD mechanism for the drive. When the drive is not in use, every part of the power supply related to the drive shuts down for a cleaner digital stage for the other inputs. Digital inputs cover two Toslink, one coax, a USB for computer audio, and an ethernet or wireless connection for streaming. Voice control from all the majors is included, as is AirPlay 2. Bluetooth is also present, so your friends can come over and stream music from their smartphones. For your favorite streaming sources or music on your network, the Heos app takes over. We have mixed feelings on this and really wish Marantz had made the unit more compatible with Rune than just AirPlay. Heos does offer a pretty decent interface and in our testing works fine as long as you do not try to group multiple units together. Heos will get you Spotify, Pandora, Tidal, Amazon, Apple Music, Deezer, TuneIn, SoundCloud, and Sirius XM. Finishing out the rear, you'll have another USB input for an attached USB music drive and there are both Toslink and coax digital outs. But the cool part is the fact that it has both fixed and variable analog outputs. This allows it to be used as a fully functioning digital preamp or in a fixed mode and connected to the companion Model 30 amp or any amp or preamp you already own. The DAC section of the SACD30N comes from a patented technology Marantz developed for their more expensive Ruby series. It's actually pretty interesting what they do with their musical mastering HD processing. Audiophiles know if you can upsample digital files, you'll get better sound. But one side effect of this is can be sample rate conversion errors. Marantz first converts PCM signals to 256 DSD, then a system looks at the signal and decides how to upconvert it based upon the rate of the incoming signal. This process requires two precision clocks, but Marantz claims it eliminates any chance of sample rate conversion. The premium DACs then convert this signal to analog before it passes into a discrete analog preamp output board. If you want to use headphones, the SACD30N clearly has you covered. The headphone section has three gain sections for different headphone types and its own discrete volume control. Finally, like the Model 30 integrated amp, the 30N was tuned by the Marantz Soundmaster. Overall, this is a lot of technology and a beautiful chassis for $24.99. While these units are by no means inexpensive, for what they offer in terms of design, build quality, and performance, they're actually quite a bargain. We love the look and feel of these and expect them to find their way into the homes of many music lovers. Some Marantz products have gone on to become classic audio pieces that are highly sought after long after they're out of production. We think these two new Marantz models will fall into that same category. If you're looking for a sweet sounding all-in-one integrated amp that can drive just about any speaker, the Model 30 integrated surely should be on your list. The added bonus is how great it will look on your shelf. For those of you wanting to add everything digital or just put together a complete digital front end, the SACD30N sure checks off a lot of boxes for its price. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on this or any other home audio or home theater gear, you can chat with us on our website, send us an email, or if you're in the Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina area, drop into one of our great showrooms. We'll see you next time.